Today, I've got a what I eat in a day video. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my kitchen, everyone. If this is your first time here, my name is Pamela and I like to share deliciously easy plant-based recipes. So if those are the types of videos that you like, be sure to click that little red subscribe button down below along with the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I have got another what I eat in a day video for you today. You guys really seem to like these. Uh, so I have recorded another one for you. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Hey everyone, so I'm sitting here editing this video and I realized that I completely failed to mention that this is not an ordinary what I eat in a day video. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I feed my family. So I eat uh, the Brightline eating style, but my family does not. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I feed them without spending a whole lot of extra time in the kitchen because I am not a short order cook. I don't wanna be cooking a bunch of different meals. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how I accomplish that. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So first up is breakfast, and of course it is my usual oatmeal breakfast. And by this time, both of my girls have already eaten their breakfast. So I'm preparing my oatmeal along with their oatmeal for actually the next day. I do overnight oats for them. Um, so you can see I've got two uh, mason jars here, and I'm putting their oats and their fruit in their jars at the same time as I'm making my breakfast for today and then I'm just gonna put these in the uh, refrigerator and they'll have them for tomorrow so my breakfast uh, usually consists of um, oats and then uh, bananas for a little bit of sweetness and blueberries and then I microwave that for however long and then for my girls I do um, cinnamon and flax seed hemp seed peanut butter um, all that goodness to help them grow um, and then I put some milk on top of theirs um, and then set it off to the side. So there's the um, soy milk that I'm adding in there. They are vegan um, as well as myself. So I just go ahead and stir that up and then I'm gonna set it aside and put it in the fridge for tomorrow. And then in the morning, I actually just microwave these for one minute and it is the perfect temperature for them. So um, they don't actually have to eat their oats cold in the middle of winter, which it is now. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my oatmeal I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon and then for my protein I do a little bit of flax um, and then I'm gonna do some uh, here I've got walnuts and I actually forgot that I wanted to do less walnuts and more milk this morning <laughs> so uh, I'm picking off a little bit of walnuts I wanted to do um, just half an ounce uh, of nuts and then uh, three quarters of a cup of uh, milk instead of just half a cup of milk. So there's my three quarters of a cup of milk. Give it a good stir. And there is my oatmeal breakfast for the day. All right, up next for lunch, I've got a salad. Um, I have salads quite a bit, quite often. Um, it's kind of an easy um, throw together lunch. So um, I usually do one and a half to two ounces of spinach. And then I like to chop up my spinach, even though it's baby spinach, just because uh, the leaves still tend to be quite large and I don't like <laughs> having a huge um, wad of spinach um, go into my mouth. So I chop it up a little bit. And then I always do bell peppers with spinach. That helps with the iron absorption, the vitamin C in the bell peppers. Um, so I always do uh, bell pepper with spinach just for that reason and uh, cucumbers are always delicious they are a heavier um, vegetable so they do help me get to my 12 ounces of vegetable um, on my lunch i actually skip my fruit and i do vegetable instead i noticed that the fruit was making me crave sweets so i just skip my uh, lunchtime fruit and i go straight for vegetables so i do uh, a 12 ounce vegetable salad so um, i'm adding some tomatoes here and then mushrooms i usually love mushrooms in my salad they're a great way to kind of bulk up your salad um, and give you that full feeling uh, without adding a lot of extra calories. So I always add some mushrooms um, and spinach is also good for that as well. Um, and then some more cucumber and you can really use any vegetable that you like for your salad. So whatever you got in your fridge, 
whatever you like, um, that's what you can use for your salad. These are just my favorite uh, go-to vegetables for salad. So that's what I add to mine. All right, and I'm just trying to get to like the perfect 12 ounces here. And then um, I'm gonna use walnuts as my fat. So for my dressing, I'm actually just gonna use uh, like mustard and red wine vinegar or some lemon juice. I honestly can't remember what I did uh, this day. And for my protein, I'm trying to clear out my fridge. So I'm using two separate beans here. I didn't quite have enough uh, Great Northern. So I'm just adding in some chickpeas that I had in my fridge. And that is my salad for lunch. Now for dinner, I am uh, pre-prepping my uh, dinner here, and this is actually the Mediterranean chopped salad from the Brightline Eating Cookbook, and I'll put a link uh, to that cookbook in the description box down below. I absolutely love this cookbook. It has so many great recipes. So it's got cucumbers and artichoke hearts and tomatoes, um, all kinds of good stuff. Now, how I do this for my family is I actually boil pasta and um, I have that for my family to mix in. You'll see that um, a little bit later. So I have a big bowl of pasta for my husband and my kids to mix in. So like my kids and my husband, they'll have half of this Mediterranean salad and like half pasta. So they get, um, you know, half of the veggies and then half all of that like whole wheat, uh, carby goodness <laughs> for them to run on. Um, so um, we've also got, let's see, tomatoes that went in and some red pepper or red um, onion here. Um, and red onion is so good raw. I know a lot of people don't like um, onions and they're like, oh, raw onions, but red onion is actually really good when it's raw. It's um, not a very strong tasting onion, um, but if you're really, really, really against onion, you could probably also do a green onion in this and it would be delicious, but um, try red onion if you haven't done any before. Uh, and this is some parsley from my garden. Amazingly enough, it is still producing in the winter. I am quite shocked, uh, but we've had quite a mild winter. So it is still producing and going crazy. <laughs> um, and then it's got some dried oregano, some lemon zest, which really just punches up the flavor. It's so amazing. And then the juice from the lemon. So this is quickly becoming one of our favorite recipes just because it is so simple to um, adapt for uh, both my eating as well as my family's eating. Um, my kids love the veggies. Um, they, they love all of the veggies in this actually. It's quite amazing for a two-year-old and a four-year-old to love um, these veggies with this marinade. Um, and then it's really easy to just add some pasta in um, and then they get, you know, their whole wheat serving and I get my, you know, BLE friendly meal. So um, here you can see I'm doing a plate. This is actually going to be for uh, my four-year-old who is a very picky dinner eater. She doesn't really eat um, a whole lot of dinner because she... <laughs> <laughs> has already had like a huge breakfast and a huge lunch and a bunch of snacks. So I just add a little bit of the pasta for her and then a little bit of the um, chickpeas, which, you know, I'll add six ounces of the chickpeas for me. Some of the olives. I don't do the olive oil that's listed in the book. I do two ounces of olives as my fat for this recipe. Um, and then for her, I'm going to add um, a little bit of the veggies and I will give that to her. And then if she asks for more, obviously I give her more of whatever, you know, whichever thing that she likes the most. So now when it's time for me to eat, here is my, you know, weighed and measured portion. So I do 14 ounces of the veggies. So I use like a slotted spoon to make sure I don't get the dressing in there <laughs> because I want all of my 14 ounces to be veggies, not dressing. So this, and this actually ends up being a lot of food. I think I, this bowl is actually gonna end up being too small. I have to end up switching out for a bigger bowl. <laughs> I always still, after doing bright line eating for so long, I still, still just always kind of underestimate how much food it's going to be. 
And so there's my olives that I use for the fat. Again, it's two ounces of olives for a fat. Um, I try to do oil-free as much as I can. And then, um, I think I said chickpeas earlier, but I want to say I think I did white beans, actually. I think I did uh, uh, navy or great northern beans. I can't remember which. It's been a while since I recorded this, <laughs> this footage. So there's my bigger bowl because, again, I always forget. Oh, no, I did do chickpeas. Honestly, you can use whatever white bean that you want in this. It's all delicious. Pretty much any bean is going to be delicious with this dish. So there is my meal. That is it. And see how easy that was to adapt for a family? And that's pretty much what I do is um, whatever meal I make for myself, um, I try and figure out a meal where I can add like a side of rice or a side of pasta or um, like a loaf of bread, um, you know, or some cornbread, like I'll do chili and some cornbread on the side for my family. Um, that way I'm not stuck in the kitchen cooking a bunch of separate meals um, for my family and then a separate meal for myself that's bright line eating compliant. Um, so there's lots of different meals that are easy to um, adapt that way so that you are just cooking one meal for um, yourself um, and then you just add on an extra dish that will make it family friendly. So that is it. I just added some salt and pepper there's my BLE meal and my husband would have just basically added pasta to his. His would look just like this with pasta. Let me know in the comments section down below if you want more of these. You guys uh, definitely seem to like them. So tell me in the comments section down below if you want me to keep going with these types of videos. And if you want to see more Bright Line Eating videos, go ahead and click on the videos that you see on your screen right here. I'll see you next time.